Hey guys, welcome back to Feel the Burn. I'm excited about the sauce that I have today. I'm gonna to be trying a hot sauce from Maletta's Golden Chili Hot Sauces. But before we get started, why don't you take the like button on a nice relaxing vacation. We've been kind of rough with that like button lately. Um, give them a little break, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. It really helps out the channel a lot. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be trying Smolder. All right, guys, Bob Maletta. here we go. Let's get into this sauce here. Um, Bob Maletta made all these sauces. His passion and what he loves to do is make hot sauces. So I'm gonna get to taste a little bit of uh, what that translates to over here. He sent me this and another one, which I will be trying in October. The other one that I'm not trying today is called Death Wish. Uh, so I'm, I'm working up to that. <laughs> I don't have a Death Wish, but I love hot sauce. Uh, this one's called Smolder, and I think it's going to live up to its name. I'm going to go over the ingredients really quick here. Applewood smoked habanero. Oh, baby. Apple juice, distilled vinegar, pineapple juice, hillen silo. I don't, I'm probably butchering that. I don't even know what that is. Uh, water, orange habanero, sea salt, garlic, and chipotle pepper. This is probably going to be a very smoky, flavorful, delicious sauce. It's a little thicker bodied. It's interesting, you know. You can tell that uh, a lot of love and, and patience went into making this. And look at that color, man. That brown, mellow color. Let's dig in and feel the burn. Open this up. Yeah, that was easy. Easy pull tab, you know. All right, let's get the smell on this. I was right. Oh man. And you can tell the difference between stuff that's really smoked and the liquid smoke and this. Oh. It, I mean, it tastes like, I mean, it smells uh, like a smoked meat or something. Very smoke forward with that. Now, let's give a little pour. Let's take a look at that as well. Ooh. All right. Look at that color. You can see that in there. Oh yeah, this is a smoky, savory, delicious smelling sauce. Let's feel the burn, cheers. Woo! Oh. Whoa! Give me a minute. That was an adventure. So right away, you get sweet from the juices. Smoky. The smoky sticks with you. That habanero heat is kicking. I need a little drink of water here. I'm burning. Whew. I got the hiccups. So you get an all over habanero mouth burn. It's intense. I mean, <clears throat> Here we go again. Now, even after drinking water, I'm still getting that, like a coating of that smoke flavor. Right now, I'm not smoldering as much as burning. Uh, and I've been doing training, man. I've been eating hot stuff. Yeah, he has. Yeah. And, uh, I, I mean, it's all over. Lips, tongue, whole mouth, throat, stabby habanero burn. Um, and it's, it's present. It, it, it's starting to develop into a smolder now. We've seen it live. I didn't stop recording. 
I took a good amount of that, you know. Um, incredibly executed. Uh, the flavor is awesome. Like, I can imagine this pairing with anything smoked or anything that could use a little smoked flavor. It, it, it has way more to it than, like, if you were to put liquid smoke on something just to get that smoky flavor. This is going to bring you there. And it gives you a kick of sweet smoke and then heat it sticks with you for a little while it's not piercing or, or consistent it's uh, kind of heat that uh, coats the mouth and it doesn't take that long and now it's mellowing into that smolder that kind of sticks with you that's awesome really well made I'll be back with my rating in just a moment all right so my rating on Maletta's golden chili hot sauce smolder on either the website if you want to get yourself some incredibly executed www.malettashotsauce.com again that is www.malettashotsauce.com right here see it? there um, flavor now I didn't put this on food yet but I imagine that when I do I'm going to get a whole uh, dynamic of flavor that I have not gotten as of yet. Uh, it, it's a condiment um, and it doesn't, it, it, let's just say it's not totally fair to judge the flavor on this until I put it on some meat, a sausage even, give it that smoked flavor because it is, I still taste it. It's so good. Uh, it's so well done and I'm going to say the overall flavor on this and this is preliminary before I've even tried any food this is uh, flavor wise like a six and a half seven now saying that I pet it on a spoon okay uh, so that's a pretty high rating for a hot sauce uh, just stand alone with a very specific flavor profile heat this shocked me I'm not gonna lie uh, I would say heat on this one five and a half six it came in on the high end of six and smoldered down to five and a half five and it's still hanging with me just a little bit at like a, a one at this point uh, but it's a good punch of heat if you're a chili head and you love the taste of habaneros you'll absolutely love this sauce uh, it's like an almost a medium bodied sauce I would say it's it's all kind of you're not getting a lot of bits of anything. It's almost like, it, you know, it, it's pureed very thin or, or filtered down. But in, in a way, in a way, the way that it was prepared actually kind of combined all the flavors and um, almost set the heat apart. It, it's kind of weird. You're hit with the flavor and, and a little sweetness, but that doesn't hang because the heat kind of runs at you, uh, which is awesome. Overall, awesome. Uh, so overall, uh, considering flavor and heat, I'm going to give this uh, sauce, even before putting it on food, a solid six and a half. Um, some, the best sauce I've ever tasted, I, I would say it's very specifically something you would put on, um, something you'd want that smoked flavor on. I, I for one, would not put this on a taco. Um, I, I think it would clash too much with the other flavors. Uh, I would put this on a, a big piece of meat or, or, or roast or some chicken, barbecue chicken, because it's going to give it a, a, a very smoky dynamic, which I think is awesome. Um, so uh, in closure here, uh, you guys make sure you please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, make sure you hit that bell so you know uh, when we're going to have a review and you can join me here and watch me uh, squirm and, and burn. Um, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're going to have some merch up, even more merch for uh, Field to Burn. I'm going to have all that down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on Instagram as well. Uh, it's Mirabella underscore TV. I'll be doing a lot of interviews with the people who make these hot sauces. I'm going to try to get Bob Maletta on with me and do a little Q&A. And um, I've already done that with a lot of uh, hot sauce company owners who, who make this awesome hot sauce. So uh, give that a check out as well. Thank you so much for joining us. 
uh, chili heads, all people who like spicy stuff, and uh, just people who like watching uh, food reviews. We're doing a lot more of them. Uh, I appreciate the time you spent with our family. And what do we like to say? Peace. Peace. Burn out. <laughs>